So, welcome to Springbank Cemetery in Aberdeen. Uh, this is Anne Park, who is going to tell us a little bit about some of the graves here. This one here is the Brooke family grave. In the First World War, the family lost three sons. James was killed over in Belgium in 1914. His brother, Henry Brian Brooke, was called Brian and he was wounded in the 1st of July but was taken to London but died of his wounds by the 24th of July 1916. And Patrick Harry Brooke died of fever in 1917. But the sadness still wasn't finished because on this grave here it mentions the sister Constance and her husband died over in Belgium in 1914. So um, he was Napier Cameron and he was with the Cameron Highlanders. So sitting at the dining room table up at um, Countess Wells must have been really terrible for them. You know, having three brothers and a brother-in-law to die, mm -hmm. you know. It hadn't been a happy table, had it? No. So, um, yes, James Anson Otto Brook uh, was awarded the Victoria Cross for his action on the 29th of October 1914. This stone here is in memory of Cecil. But actually his name was James Cecil Mackey and he was to die in Edinburgh of wounds. This um, man here served with the Royal Field Artillery so he's remembered in the townhouse in Aberdeen as well as the City Roll of Honour. And next to him is James Davidson Rennie who isn't buried here. He fell in the Battle of Arras in 1917 and he's buried over there and he went to Aberdeen um, school he went to Robert Gordon's college but he's buried in Rockland Corps he also worked in the bank in Aberdeen and if you look online you can find photographs of him and now we'll move on and visit the grave of William Visit. Here we are at the grave of William Visit. He doesn't have a Commonwealth War graves. He's out of the date of when that was available. So he died on the 5th of February 1921. And he went to Aberdeen Grammar School and he's remembered in the City Roll of Honour and in Meadowkirk with the Royal Engineers Memorial there. So he died when he was 33. And now we'll move on to two Australians who are here. This is the grave of John Henry Dosser. He actually died at Wood End Hospital. He died of disease and quite a lot of people would wonder why an Australian man would be remembered here. It's because he was sent to Aberdeen to recuperate and sadly died. So when you're looking around sometimes you get burials and sometimes you get people that are remembered. So this one here mentions Major Alexander Kirkland Robb, who was the 2nd Battalion Durham Light Infantry. And he was killed in action and he's buried in France. So his father was a Lieutenant Colonel um, and he's buried here, but Alexander is only remembered on this stone. So next we're going to a very interesting grave.
this is another Australian man who died at a military hospital down in Salisbury and because his father and mother were in Aberdeen he was brought here and buried here. You probably will recognise the mother's name, Barry, because his uncle was J.M. Barry who wrote Peter Pan. At Aberdeen University and prior to that was educated at Robert Gordon's. His father was an inspector of schools so, um, as it says on the stone. And if you look, the names on the stone, they only indicate the family name and the lad that died. Well, I'm saying a lad. He was a bit older. He was 34 when he died. And now we'll go on to another cave. This is the grave of James Stuart Ross. He was born in Dingle and was at Duxford. He was obviously tra training and he lost his life in an accident at Duxford. As you can see, this one is Royal Air Force. He's remembered at Aberdeen Uni and he also went to Aberdeen Grammar School and his name is on the City Roll of Order. This grave here commemorates two brothers. William Davidson was a Lance Corporal in the 4th Gordon Highlanders and he died at Bedford. Bedford was a big training area for the Gordon Highlanders and he died there aged 21. On the stone it also mentions James Reed Davidson who was a gunner in a siege battery in the Royal Garrison Artillery and he's buried at Beryls in France. The family stayed in 296 Great Western Road but also buried at Beryls is the most highly decorated man that died in the First World War to be remembered here in Aberdeen. Frederick William Lumsden was awarded the Victoria Cross and he actually stayed in 393, just a bus stop away. And the two lads, James is buried firstly at the first grave in this new cemetery. And further down, nearer the gate, is William Lumsden. And this man won the Victoria Cross and he was in the Royal Marine Artillery. And he ended up having a CB, DSO and three bars and four mentions and dispatches. And if you ask Indy in Aberdeen, they've never heard of him. Mm. It's really quite poignant, yeah. I think. Okay. You really have to be an effective detective to find this one for Ernest Robertson Horn. He was a wireless operator in government services, which meant he was on a boat. I still haven't been able to identify which boat he was on, but he died in Liverpool, age 20, and he was brought here from Liverpool. He was also educated at Aberdeen Grammar School. And I really don't understand the setup for this stone at all. I mean, it was quite a large family that stayed in Gladstone Place and it's the strangest little stone I've ever seen. But here lies Ernest Robertson Hall. Bless her. Right, thank you for joining me today at Springbank. This is a, a little small section of Section N. But thanks again and I'll maybe see you another time.